Shootings of two black men by police just 24 hours apart in two separate states continue to have many people exercising their freedom of speech. Since the deaths of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile, last week protests are stretching nationwide from the West Coast to the East Coast, with everyone spreading messages against gun violence and racial inequality. Greenville is not excluded. Today, dozens of Black Lives Matter protesters took to the streets in Uptown sharing one common message. In the media, you see primarily cases dealing with black men, but I mean, it happens to black women too. No peace! No peace! We're overshadowed a lot, and black women aren't always heard, so we feel like we should be standing up. I feel like many people don't recognize that there is a problem, so the first step to fixing the problem is making people aware. We're tired of seeing all the injustice going on in the world, and we just wanted to band together and show that we do see what's going on and we're not gonna stand for it. We're not saying we're anti-police, we're just anti-police brutality, and there's a huge difference. And as many strides as we've made in society, we're at a tipping point now where we have to be vocal. We have to bring it to light. It's 102 black unarmed men and women that were killed by police in 2015. Just in case you just thought it was a bunch of names. Please educate yourself before saying all lives matter because as you see, it's an implied two at the end. Now the group of young women seen there in that march are part of a local group named the Ladies of Liberty. They are all recent high school graduates whose motto is, we are women and we follow through.